Atlas Hotel. Once we saw everything that it had to offer, we knew we wanted to make a whole entire video on it, so enjoy. Our room. We actually booked an economy room without the balcony or even a window in it. We went up there and we asked, hey, is there a possibility we could upgrade to a room with the balcony? And he said, yeah, but yours already has one. And we're like, oh, then we'll just keep it. So we got super, super lucky because we're paying the economy price, but we still get a balcony with a beautiful view of the ocean. As for the room itself, we have a nice big king bed, air conditioner, a couple seats, side tables, different lighting fixtures, and as you can see, it's all decorated really, really fun. Like we have this wicker basket light over here, a clay lighting fixture above our bed. And one of the coolest decorating points is the shelves as the faucets. So for our sink, we have this shell and a nice big beach themed bathroom. So over here we have our toilet, nothing special, but down here, we have a pretty good sized stand-up shower. Like, I can put my arms out all the way. And another really cool seashell faucet. Now let's go see the rest of the property. Our fancy little doors. We're gonna head down the beach this way. And on the right side, we have all of the beach chairs. We have a couple with palapas, which are those fun little straw hut things. wade out like it's almost as far as you get like to that boat out there almost and you're still only hitting right here on your waist we have a fun little beach bar on the right where we got our free juices oh and our coffees of course, when there's free breakfast included, you have to get it. There's salsa, tortilla, ham, cheese, egg, and banana with some bread. And the presentation is beautiful. Coming back this way, you get to see more of the awesome architecture and aesthetic of the place. It's these whitewashed buildings, lots of plants. There's a lot of different room styles here. There's a lot with double beds, a few with king style. Most of them have this really cool balcony. is just rooms, but on the third floor, you have access to the This spot is really nice. They have a easy tub, sausages, facials, the whole thing. And the massages are about $50, which is actually about half the price that people pay for the work on the U.S. And up here features one of two water filters. Since you can't drink the water in Mexico, this is really nice to have. They give you water bottles and you can refill it the whole time. This is also where you can start to see the ocean from above and it is so beautiful. There's also a walkway up here on the second floor that leads to some bathrooms and some more hotel rooms. Up here is a great area for sitting, great view at night of the ocean, jacuzzi over there, as well as more spa services, and there's an outdoor shower. Great place to rinse your feet off after the sandy day at the beach.
reception is that way, and we're already back at our room right here. You can see that this is a really great property size. It's big enough to have everything you need, but small enough so that it's not overcrowded. This is adults only. We're on the north shore of the island, which is the better water by far. I don't even know if there's any hotels on the south side, because the water on that side is part of more of a lagoon, so the water is more brown and murky like you saw when we were on the ferry. Whereas this side is that. Thank you so much for watching our tour of Lapa Lapa today. You guys have a good one, and we'll see you in the next one.